Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan here with exciting super lightweight Pierce O'Leary fresh off his victory last weekend. Pierce, before we get into all the boxing action, what's the best way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Uh, I think the best way to celebrate it is everyone to go out on the piss to have a big piss up or uh, I just went home. I just I was literally shattered. And obviously I'm not a big drinker, so that wasn't it didn't really affect me. I just wanted to go home to be baby, family, chill, and just just relax, let the body just come down. How long have you been a dad? For the last three and a half years. Three and a half years, I must have missed that. How's how's the little baby getting on? Yeah, she's really good. She's uh moping. She's she's brilliant. There she's there in the background, push me in the bag. Three is sort of the start of age where, you know, you start picking up things and realising maybe what your dad does, um, you know, is that what's happening with the, the little one? Yeah, she knows quite well what I do. Yeah, she knows quite well. But, um, nah, she's she's a diamond. She's everything you ever dreamed of. She got a bit of power in her too as well? She has, yeah. In, in, in her hands and in her voice. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce, going into the the battle in Birmingham, um, interesting because maybe at least how it started off early, it ended up being a tougher battle than it could have been. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, yeah, uh, most definitely. Um, do you know what? It was just a, it was a long, long camp I had, six same week camp. Um, the preparation for the whole for the whole fight was perfect. It couldn't have gone any better, to be honest. And I just felt like. One of us true heart and true to fight, as it the, the rounds I didn't feel like were uh, um, where I was, I was performing, even though I was winning them, but where I wasn't performing, and um, I was unhappy with myself, you know. So I think I got a little bit of a bit of a uh, I started well, then I and then I didn't really continue that at that pace and that kind of stuff. So I was just kind of um. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to just just take the time. You know what I mean? And I wasn't really something that I wanted to. It was. It was. It was. What I'm trying to say is, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't a great performance in, in between those rounds for myself. So, even though I held them quite well, I dealt with them quite well. That was that was no problem. But it was like I think the the camp. The, the the camp duration affected me. That's quite interesting, Pierce, because you're saying there, I guess, that whilst you're fighting, you're kind of getting frustrated with yourself as to what's going on there. What's that like and what does what was Joe doing to kind of steer you into the right direction? Oh, Joe and Dick, they were just like, listen, let's stick to the game plan. Don't be worrying about anything else. Everything else will come off. Um, just stick to the game plan and that's exactly what I've done. Stuck to the game plan and you've seen, you've seen how the fight ends. Mm. But it was it was frustrating through through the fight because what I wanted to do and what I walked on in the gym for the last sixteen weeks I couldn't actually I couldn't pull it off you know what I mean until later on in the round later later on in the fight sorry where everything then what I started I, start, I got my second win and it was just like I was like to start the fight again was like I felt great but that, that the eighth and the ninth round. I think I was seeing an uh, uh, an interview saying that I lost the uh, eight rounds. So, so the seventh round I was coming back. I started fresh in the seventh, eight, and nine, and they felt like the first three rounds again. Mm. Um, and that's when I found myself. I found me, found me rhythm, found me, found me distance. I found everything, and that's how the knockout happened. Then, yeah, that left hook finish would end up being class. What were you seeing to set that up eventually? Um, Joseph said, "Just do what we've been walking on the gym, draw him." And that's exactly what I done. Mm. And I seen another, I seen another side of that clip. I seen Joe doing the three shots that I done mm. with his shoulders, and and his hands in the ring. And that's exactly what he said. He said, "Just do it, draw him and throw him." That's exactly what I'm. When you had that fight over the weekend, did you manage to? get the time to speak to the likes of Liam Smith and Josh Taylor for just advice and little bits as well. I came into the dressing room 
uh, we all went back into the dressing room. I had to see the doctor and I spoke to Beefy and I was chatting to him for at least a good 10, 15 minutes, one to one in the toilet, just me and him. Um, he brought me into the toilet, told me everything because uh, there was a lot of cameras coming into the dressing room then, you know. So he just said, listen, close the door. He taught, showed me, um, uh, showed me everything, and gave me gave me a lot of great words, you know. And he just said, "Listen, it's a long night there for twelve rounds." He said, "You don't need to keep putting the pace on like that." He said, "You can take your time." He said, "Even though that's your start of soil and and an aggressive boxer," he said, "Like, but he said, just all you need to do is just take the time." He said, "You have it all." He said, you've got all the talent in the world. He said, look, the world's your oyster. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to what's next, first of all. I heard you say, look, you want the the Irish homecoming, but you also got one eye cast over to Saudi Arabia too. What would you like first? Yeah, I love, I love the homecoming. Uh, the homecoming would be um, tremendous. That means more than money, you know. And then moving on forward to the future... You've got your eye cast on as well to this weekend. First of all, Dalton Smith versus Jose Zapida. Dalton Smith being someone who, in the future, we might see you in the ring with. What do you What do you think of Dalton Smith as a fighter? And when did he first appear on your radar? Yeah, he's excellent. He's a very, very good fighter. Um, I respect Dalton very much. Um, and I think more so he appeared on the radar when... We want to fight for the um, the European title, mm. so I'm hoping hoping I could fight for that probably at the end of the year, if 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 I get the chance. A lot of talk about Dalton about how good he is, but from a fighter's perspective, I imagine that when you watch him and his fights, you look at the gaps and the flaws, and what are they? Where where do you see them, Pierce? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. That's for me to hold for myself rather than putting that right out there. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Keep those cards close to your chest. There's a lot of back and forth there between the two, between Dalton Smith and Adam Azim. Just casting your mind to Adam Azim first of all, and you being in that picture for a fight with him. Uh, what do you feel about Adam Azim and the potential of you getting in the ring with him? Not an extra pound, and it's very holy, very mm-hmm. very holy. Mm-hmm. Do you feel he's had that chin check test yet in the pros? Um. Yeah. I, yeah. He's been he's been in with good good um opposition, so I presume so. Mm-hmm. Who is most likely, do you feel, the tougher fight for you right now, Smith or Azim? Because they both have different qualities. They're quite different fighters, but I wonder how you feel for your style would be the tougher matchup. It doesn't really matter. It's up to, it's up to me team, Joe and Deck. They'll, 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 they'll give me the right tactics to win with the... Um, they'll give me the right tactics to win the denial. Mm-hmm. and do what we have to do then what about the eventual if it happens a Smith versus Dean fight who do you think wins that one it's a hard one it's a tough one mm-hmm. it's a really really tough one mm-hmm. you got a winner got to get you off that fence oh, I don't know I'm on the fence for that yeah I don't know mm-hmm. but do you think it happens I think so yeah I think so mm-hmm. a lot of people saying it won't happen but I think it will happen Mm-hmm. Interesting one indeed. What about what happens at Smith versus Zapita? Do you think that Smith goes through? Because a lot look, Zapita's still got a life a lot of life left in him. And if a misstep has been made, Don Smith might end up getting found out. No, I think I think um I think that'll be too smart for him. Mm. I think it's a great step up, but obviously another another step up what he knows he's gonna win. You ever sparred either of the two? No, no, never no. Mm-hmm. It's interesting because a lot of the heavyweights get around, but maybe at the lighter weights they don't get around too much, uh, so much as the heavy guys do. Yeah, no, that's it's boxing, isn't it? It's it's a bit mad that way, but I think we just never really got the chance to be honest, really. But we weren't really located in the same place, were we? Mm, that's true. Uh, Pierce, mm. moving on to a couple of final things. First of all, at your gym, there has been a slight delay in the form of. Uh, Taylor versus Catchwell too, but Josh has had a minor procedure and he's ready to go on the now change date. How do you feel Josh fares in the rematch? Yeah, yeah. I think Josh, um, he's working really hard in the gym. 
Um, now he wasn't in camp when I when I seen him. Um, when I was obviously in camp, he wasn't in camp, and he's been sparring and he's been working really, really extremely hard with the lads. So um, I don't think he's leaving no stone unturned for this fight. You know, I think he's really going all in. Um, the way the way it looks, he's going all in. I think he needs to too, but um. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. I think I can see Josh pulling it this time. Mm-hmm. It... As as it more, I don't mean pulling it this time, but as a more of a clearer winner. Mm-hmm. And cashing mine over too as well, looking for those, uh, maybe the opportunity over in Saudi. Did you watch uh, Joshua versus Ngani? What did you think of it? Uh, I didn't watch it. Not a fan? You didn't want to watch the fight? No, I, didn't, I didn't watch it. It was more so, uh, it was on too late for me, mate. Hmm. I was in camp, deep in sleep, deep in sleep. Sleep was recovery. And um, yeah, I didn't get to watch it the next day or nothing. It was, if I miss a fight, I miss a fight and I don't really go back on it. A professional fighter indeed. Lastly, look, you'll have had that conversation with Frank afterwards as to what you want and how he thought you fared as well. What did Frank say to you after your fight? Um, no, he was very happy. He was, he, it was very, very, we hadn't actually got um, a personal chat, but he was very happy. Mm-hmm. Piss. Pleasure. You're a fa- uh, fan's favourite fighter delivering those knockouts that fans want to see. Uh, next time we see you in the ring, can we expect to see the same thing? Definitely, 100%. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed Of course, Pierce. I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't. <laughs> that's the main thing. Once you enjoy it, that's great. That's it, Pierce. Pleasure is all mine. Thanks for being yeah. the second of that, sir. Wishing you all the best. Thank you very much.